Before we get started with the day, I want to show you another win from the Body Evolution series. Check out this young man, first muscle up ever. Good morning, good morning, good morning, it's time to eat. So my house is three stories, which means I have to go down two stories of stairs. See, that's, that's logical math. I also have a freaking garage. Like, come on. We should still head for the we Okay, so yesterday we worked out in the park. Ricky and I hit lower body, well it wasn't in the park, it was on the side of the road. And you saw him really, 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 really burn. Two. One, and relax. Currently at a stoplight, about to arrive in downtown LA. We're training Ricky upper body. Remember, this is the last day to join the Body Evolution Challenge. For 60 days, you have to transform your body using the Body Evo system, and you have a chance to win a full trip, all expenses paid, to Santa Monica to stay with me. I live pretty much on the beach, so make sure you join in the description, and let's have a freaking good day. here at the recreational center or something like that. We're gonna train Ricky with his upper body. I'm gonna explain a little bit more of how we're doing it, and you're gonna see the intensity in his face and how he's feeling, so you can understand that, hey, we're grinding, and we're making this transformation happen. Number two, I'm going to show you my workout today. There's a few different exercises. And number three, past few days have been absolutely freaking crazy moving into my new house, which I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about that. And actually, one of my very good friends that I'm moving in with is in Panama for five days, basically on an island without anything absolutely nothing no contact nothing and he's experiencing that part of life which is gonna be absolutely insane if he survives that'll be great all right Ricky is here my man I love how, like, what up, I love how like all the hair is all up and I, I just see. I just let it flow I, just I see let it do I see thing. how you feeling today uh, my hip flexors are just like uh, destroyed uh, yeah and then how, how, how are your uh, abs my abs sore okay Good. This is exactly what we want. So when we talk about um, the day after your training or anything like that, he says like, oh, in a couple hours I'll feel sore. Probably won't feel sore after a couple hours. What we did work on is specific things, and that's what I wanted more. His hip flexors, his abs, all of his core, his low back. He probably feels that a little bit. And so I want to make sure that, okay, he's not crazy sore after every workout, but maybe slightly sore, not even sore at all. You don't need to be sore to build muscle and to just progress in your training. So let's keep on grinding and let's get this upper body workout. And before we get started, it's time for the weight update of the week. How much do you weigh now? I weigh exactly 145 pounds. 145 pounds? You started out at 137, 138 pounds, already gaining seven pounds. Obviously some of it's water, but most of it is building muscle and eating more and proper nutrition, body evolution. Talking about man, talking about you like right. Starting off with a 10 second hang. Bring those knees down. We're not gonna be using our abs at all. There we go. And he's really going to retract his scaps right here, tightening right here. There you go, right there. Tighten that stomach. Same time, there you go. Three, two, one, and relax. Now we're using rings right now. You can use a pull-up bar, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, we're gonna do three pull-ups. So we're gonna come to the top, hold one, two, and come back down. One, two, and down. There you go, and up. One, two, and down. Good. One of my favorite warm-up exercises, we're gonna be opening up that chest real wide, real wide, and then the reason why we're hugging ourselves is gonna open up our back. Now this is something that I learned many, many years ago, about seven years ago from one of my strength and conditioning coaches, by the way, make it count. He's gonna be opening up his lat, also firing his trap and every muscle around his scap as he's going into upward rotation of that scap, and then he's going into flexion of that shoulder as well, so it's gonna be opening up his front delt, but also his triceps every single muscle in his upper body. Here we are doing some inverted rows on the TRX. You can use a dip bar if you want, but he's retracting and depressing his scap, staying very, very tight with that stomach and everything. And he's coming up, making sure he's not elevating his scap at all. That trap should not be worked too much. Last one, and relax. Here we have a Superman push-up. The way we're gonna train it and to keep him understanding how to do the movement, he's gonna explode and tap and touch the bench and come back down without holding anything. You ready? And down and up. There you go, up, there you go, there you go, perfect. Ricky is not usually explosive with his workouts, and so this is really a new technique to him, but 
Everybody can watch and learn from him and how he approaches. Ready? He's gonna explode as fast as possible into a chin up position and explode. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Explode. Yes. There you go. Explode. Let's go, Ricky boy. So you're gonna pause at the bottom. So pause right there and explode. There you go. Pause and explode. You can notice that everywhere is out of whack. That means he's not tightening your core. You're not tightening your core. You're not stabilizing everywhere in your body and your chin's going forward, which means you're trying to compensate for all that's happening, okay? So make sure you're keeping that chin tucked right there in that position, tight in that stomach. Everything's tight, retract, and you're good to go. Okay, we're gonna be working our forearms with this movement. Basically, a bicep headbanger, he's gonna try and not use his feet as much as possible. He's gonna be pulling to the top of his forehead with those forearms mostly and part of his biceps and those lats and everywhere around on those scabs, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You see it in his face. He's grinding. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. There you go. Let's ride. We are 110% making it count today. Ricky's doing some lateral movement. Assisted handstand push-ups. Look at him working. Look at that face. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Two more each side. Two more each side. Let's finish it. One. Come on. Stay tight. One. Come on. Finish it, Ricky. Let's go. Finish it. Finish it. I already know that was an extra one. I did it on purpose. Feeling good. One of the harder exercises to finish off with. He's also not only working his forearms, his back, all of his back, but he's working those abs and really having to stabilize and finish. Relax. <sighs> Woo, feeling good, baby. Good job, man. Currently in Costco, like, And that is how you get it done. All right, so it is time to eat. Ooh, I got these new veggie sausages, plant-based protein. I'm pretty hyped about it. Pretty hyped, lightly hyped. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped. But even better than that. Can someone in the comment section scream out if you eat right, you feel right? I mean, come on. It does not get any better than that. I mean, uh, come on. Got sweet potatoes, bison, asparagus. Let's eat, let's eat. It is currently 5.30 p.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm very, very tired. Um, it's been a really busy day. I don't wanna work out, but I know I have to get it in. Never ever make an excuse to not do something. If you can do it, get it done. If time permits, well, then you can't get it done. But if it does and you have the time, make it happen. No excuses. All right, workout smashed. Pay close attention to everything that I do and everything that I say. I'm going to try and be as specific as possible and make my technique perfect so you recognize it in your own training when let's say you're looking at a mirror or you're with a friend and you see someone else doing it so you can give them advice. Now, I gotta go eat. All right, all right, all right. I just finished my upper body workout and now I am here at my house. I just ate dinner, about to start editing and just go to sleep, relax, wake up tomorrow and just freaking have a great day 16, I think it is. Man, we are just killing these Body Evolution Series 2 videos. And uh, I just wanted to end with a story about the electric bike and me crashing yesterday, the title of this video. So yesterday I was riding my bike, trying to race Ricky Garcia. As you guys know, I'm transforming his body as well. He's gained already seven pounds, freaking happy about that. But racing him to my new place and I was turning onto a street that was an incline. I was going 25 miles per hour and there was cars parked on the right hand side of the street. And when you're parked uphill, you have to turn your wheel in Los Angeles or you get a ticket. So basically the wheel is sticking out of the car. This wheel just so happened to be bigger because the car was bigger. Did I injure the car? <laughs> injure the car. No, I did not scratch the car. No, I did not dent the car. I looked at it. It was completely fine. I would have taken care of it if so, but I did not. I didn't even hit the rim. That's how big the wheel was. So I was riding, my foot was getting stuck on the pedal for some reason. I don't know what I was doing with it, but it felt like very uncomfortable and stuck. So I lifted my foot and I looked down and as I looked down, I peered to the right and I was close to the cars and I had to basically, I was about to run straight into it, straight into it. I was going to fly over the car, but I had to like somehow maneuver like last second, like move my whole body and lean it as much as possible. But I hit the tire, wham, 
And so the electric bike is $2,000. So it's a big investment on my part and I wanted to make sure that it didn't get like busted up and I had to pay another $2,000 for another bike. And that's my transportation device here. It's one of my main transportation devices. And then secondhand, my back, my low spine, I have two herniations as you know. So I didn't want to land on the ground and I also didn't want to let go of my bike. So it was a really, really weird situation. I hit it. I tumbled a little bit, I scraped my knee, I scraped my ankle, maybe my back, I like, tweaked it a little bit. Um, I still have to heal it more and more and more, but for the most part, I was good. The bike, however, the pedal was bent in half, um, the wheel was bent, the lock went right through the wheel, and it was just a complete disaster. But why am I bringing this up? My whole point of this and this whole talk time, which again, I have not even, done a talk time in a really, really long time. And if you want more, just comment down below. Give me some questions to talk about and I'll get to them. Um, but it, you know, this is a materialistic item. And I always talk about this and valuing things in your life and what you have control over and all those different things. You know, you don't have control over some situations. And no matter what happens, you have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. For six months, I was in pain, excruciating pain, going for surgeries, procedures, um, doctors, all these different things. I had no control over the outcome of what the doctor was gonna say to me. I just had to prepare. I had to get my mind right mentally. Yes, was I suffering? Yes, was it hard? Yes, did, did I fear a lot? Of course but I turn all of that into positives and now I'm here in LA living in a new house with incredible people, incredible life, doing this series on YouTube and I could not be any happier. So my main thing to you right now, my main piece of advice is don't try and control any situation. For the next week, I want you to look at Let's say your friend being late 10 minutes, 10 minutes, or uh, there being a thunderstorm in the area and you can't go play soccer outside or football or whatever it is. Whatever happens, allow it to happen, embrace it, and just adjust. Adjust, put a smile on, and don't let it get to your heart. Because remember, your heart and your mind, it's a connection, right? So whatever you feel in your heart, whatever you feel like you love and the passions you have, and you, you're not able to do it, yes, it's gonna rub you the, the wrong way, but you have to overcome it with positivity and just adjusting to something new. So whatever happens, whatever happens, just promise me you will overcome it and you will just keep on moving forward. $2,000 bike, I'll make that back one day. My Corvette, and when it was spray painted on, I'll go get another Corvette vet one day, I will make enough money sometime in my life. I don't even need a Corvette. I don't even need this house. I can live on the beach and be happy. I can. That's just who I am. I am willing to pack up right now and move wherever in the world because I just, I'm not attached anywhere. Is this a happy place for me? Yes. Does it bring me a lot of positive vibes and is it something that I really want to uh, be a part of here at LA? Absolutely. But if it came down to it, I can let go. And that's all about control. Yes, I have those issues as well. You have those issues as well, but we can overcome them together. So proper mindset, I'm healing, I'm good. You saw my workout, we're grinding. Body Evolution Day 15 was an absolute success. Ricky's gaining weight like crazy. I'm feeling even better. You know, the sky is the limit. Let's keep on grinding. Join the Body Evolution Challenge. Remember, today's the last day. It is 60 days and you have a chance to win a Full trip, all expenses paid, international, doesn't matter where you are, to stay in my home. All you have to do is get started with Body Evo in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you. I love you. We grind it every single day. Let's get it. Hopefully you enjoyed this talk time. Let me know in the comment section if you want more. We'll see you tomorrow.